Gemini 3 Flash came out this week, and I want to talk about why this is actually a big deal and something worth paying attention to. So you might know Gemini 3 came out a while back. Gemini 3 Flash is the smaller, faster version. And all the large language models have one of these nano or flash versions. It's the model you want to use if you need a quick answer and don't want to spend a lot of tokens. So why would we care about the faster, dumber version of GPT-3? Well, one, because it turns out it's not nearly as dumb as we assumed it would be. And two, because it tells us a lot about Google's plan for search. When you look at the most popular benchmarks, Gemini 3 Flash is actually very close to Gemini 3 Pro. It's even beating Gemini 3 Pro on a few benchmarks. Now there is one major flaw with these benchmarks, but I'll get back to that. I want to talk about why this is really worth paying attention to. It's the reason that Google has always been so focused on speed and efficiency. It's because they understand that the real prize is not making the best chatbot, but the best search experience. They need to replace their own traditional search results before ChatGPT does. And at the rate Google's moving right now, it looks like this will probably happen sometime in 2026. Which is why at our SEO agency, we're entirely focused on getting our clients to be recommended by large language models. However, Google still has one glaring problem to overcome. Hallucinations. And Gemini 3 Flash isn't helping them. And this brings us back to the problem with these benchmarks. These benchmarks do a good job of measuring how often the models get a certain question correct. However, there's no penalty for an incorrect answer. So while Gemini 3 Flash does get more correct answers than almost any other model, it's also one of the models least likely to say, I don't know, which means it still has a high hallucination rate. In fact, over 90% of the time that it doesn't know the answer, it will still give a confident answer. Google is well aware of this issue, which is why they continue to experiment with hybrid solutions. Experiments like Google's WebView, where AI responses are mixed in with traditional search results. Regardless of what you think of the quality of Google's search results, they still have by far the most sophisticated search engine. And they're going to continue taking advantage of that. Gemini 3 Flash is already being used in Google's AI mode. My prediction is that in early 2026, we're going to see more of these hybrid solutions that mix AI responses with traditional search results. And by the end of 2026, Google will find some version of AI mode that feels better than traditional search results to the average user.